Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So here we have one subset of R2D. Uh, we have called it as A and we have to prove that it is not a compact subset of R2D where D is a Euclidean distance. So here I have written a given information. The information is we have a matrix space R2D where D is a Euclidean distance. I have written a set also. So A is a collection of all points of R2 which will satisfy this condition x into y is equal to 0. So let us see first what is a given set. Let me draw the diagram. So this is our y axis, right? And this is our x axis, okay? This is x axis, y axis. x into y is 0. So when will it will happen? It means either the x is 0 or y is 0 or both of them are 0. Let me write here x is 0 or y is 0 or both of them are 0. See x is equal to 0. This is equation of y axis, right? y axis and y is equal to 0. This is equation of x axis. So that means given set is nothing but union of x axis and y axis, right? So this is the set we have and we have to prove it is not compact. To prove that A is not compact. So we have to prove that it is not compact in matrix space R2D. See, there is one standard result in R2D. So that result I'm going to use to prove the set is not compact. Okay. So that result is in R2D, a set is not compact if and only if it is not compact if and only if it is uh, sorry, the result is for set is compact if and only if it is close and bounded. Okay, so the result is this one. So set is compact if and only if it is close and bounded. That means if you have any compact set, then it is close as well as bounded. Or if you have any close and bounded set, then it is compact. But see, in this example, we have to prove it is not compact. It is not compact. We have to prove here. So we have to prove it is not compact. It means we have to prove either set is not close or set is not bounded. Here you can easily see what is a given set. Set is a union of simply x axis and y axis. So see, this is infinite set, getting infinite set. It's not bounded. Since along x axis, it is moving towards positive infinity. Along uh, x axis on this side, it is moving towards negative infinity getting along y axis and negative y axis also happening same. So that's why I'm going to prove it is not bounded. Let me mention here, it is enough to prove that, enough to prove that A is not bounded. What we have to prove the set is not bounded. So now the question is how to prove the set is not bounded. So very simple technique we have. That is to prove that what we have to prove exactly. A is not subset of a ball with center 0, 0 radius r and it should be true for every r greater than 0. It means we have to prove it is not possible to find ball with center 0, 0 and radius r which will contain this set A. This thing we have to prove. See, when we want to prove the first set is subset of second set, what we do? We take any arbitrary point from the first set and we prove that it is in second set. But in this case, we have to prove first set is not subset of second. That means what we have to prove A is not subset of B. In that case, we find one point from first set which, which is not in second set, get it? Then we can say A is not subset of B. So same technique I'm going to use here. Let us take one R greater than zero. So let me mention, let R greater than zero be given. So R is any positive real number. So with the help of this R, I'm going to take one point, okay? There is no more space to write, make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. See, now I'm going to take one point, okay? So let me mention here, let, x y is equal to so my point is r plus 1 comma 0 right belongs to r2 so i have taken one point so clearly here x is r plus 1 and obviously the second component y is 0 
So this point we have x y is equal to r plus one comma zero. We have to prove that that point lies in A, but it does not lie in B. Let us check. So consider what I am going to do. I am going to check that point satisfies this condition of A or not. So let us take x into y. So what is our x? R plus one. What is our y? Zero. Zero into anything? Zero. So therefore, x y is equal to zero. So that means the given point satisfies the condition of A. Therefore, y. What can I declare? Therefore, x y belongs to A. That means we got a point which is in A. Now we have to prove that it is not in B. That means we have to prove that that point does not lie in a ball with center zero zero radius r. Let me show here. We have a ball with center zero zero and radius r. We have to show that this point lies outside a ball. This point lies outside a ball. That means the distance of point from a center of ball. Should be greater than its radius. Let us check. Consider I am going to find distance of that point x y from the center of ball, which is zero zero. Okay, so let us find the distance. Simply distance formula: square root of x minus zero square plus y minus zero square. Right? See, this is a Euclidean distance, so that's why we should follow this formula, which is equal to Square root of x square plus y square, so which is equal to square root of. What is our x? Our x is r plus one. Let us put its value here. R plus one square. What is y? Y is zero. See, zero square is obviously zero, so which is equal to. Let me write here. Square root of what? R plus one square. But see what will happen. Square and square root will get cancelled, and we will have r plus one. R plus one is obviously greater than R, right? What it means? It means the distance between x y and zero zero is greater than R. Getting so distance between what? This x y and zero zero is greater than its radius. That means that point lies outside. Okay, let me mention that thing here. Make a screenshot of it first. So let me clearly mention here. Therefore. Therefore, distance between x y and zero zero is greater than r. So that means x y point x y does not belongs to ball with center zero zero radius r. See, distance of that point from a center of ball is greater than radius. So that means point lies outside. So I got one point which is in A, but it is not in ball. So therefore, therefore we can declare. A is not a subset of ball with center zero zero radius r, and see it is true for every r greater than zero. Since our r is radius, that was arbitrary, so that's why it is true for every r greater than zero. Therefore, we can declare, therefore, A is not bounded in metric space R to D where D is a Euclidean distance. This set is not bounded, so we can clearly mention it is not compact also. So therefore, A is not compact in R to D. Getting it is not compact in R to D. So the reason is it is not bounded. So if you have any set which is not bounded or which is not closed in R to D directly, we can declare it is not compact. So using that result, we could solve this example. Okay, make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. See you.